he's the best rider you have never heard of. And every ounce of my 450 hours of training and racing from this year comes down to this final race of the season. I come in with determination, he comes in with something more legendary potential. You wouldn't think he's a genius, not when he's humming along to Christmas songs in October while we prepare for battle. <laughs> but don't be fooled, he is the greatest Asian under 23 rider in history. In 2023, he faced titans like Tele Pogaccio, Remco Evenepoel, Philip Ogana at the World Championships in Glasgow. And here's the kicker. I've got a road bike there and time trialing, not normally the thing, but he's the former Asian champion on the road, this man. He can ride a bike. He wasn't even on a TT bike and he still didn't finish last. I'm convinced he'd be at the next Olympics, but here's the twist. If you thought Nick was a beast in my last video, brace yourself for Mohammed. His nickname? But in a flat out case, nothing can outrun a cheetah. And trust me, that's not a name I've given him for show or this video. It's a title done from road and crit races from around the world. So what on earth is he doing racing for Reading Cycling Club on a Saturday morning? Well, the Reading Road Races Championships are the real world championships, guys, and it is hosted by Aberdeen Race Team. But jokes aside, there's a deeper reason for his presence here. One, that's a story for another day. But for now, he's my teammate and he's been dominated the UK and scene in the same way Amazon cycles away with my money from my bank account. And while that's great for the team, today, today he's my enemy. Today he's my greatest rival. And I'm looking at him the same way Ali looked at Fraser, the way Man United fans look at Liverpool fans, the way Holly Willoughby looks at Phil Schofield. And you're probably thinking, what, why? Well, here's the catch. In this race, the highest finisher on our team claims the title of the Reading Road Race Championship. I lost it last year in a gut-wrenching finish to Alexander. And now, with Mohamed in the mix, my chances are slim and none. And it feels like Slim has just left town on a one-way ticket to Timbuktu. I not only have to beat him, but this is my first official race as a Cat 2 competing against the elite Cat 1s and season Cat 2s of the country. The chance of being dropped and the embarrassment of the cameras rolling whilst doing so is quite high in this race. Mohammed has been winning at this level and if I want to finish ahead of him, there's only one way to do it. I need to break away from him and be nowhere near him when it counts. So what are my race goals today aside from winning this championship? Many say this category is too tough. So number one, I want to defy that and not get dropped. Number two, this is the first race where I feel the weight of reality. I can't genuinely expect to win this race. With the competition fierce, the top 15 and points in a national B-level race, unlike my previous Cat 3 races. So my goal is to try and get into that top 15, somehow. So with the stakes set and the tension rising, let's dive into the race. So here we are, mere seconds into the race, an attack is gone, Mohammed is launching himself onto it. He is not waiting, not hesitating, and certainly has no interest in staying near me today. The move is immediate, decisive. They have left the building, but should I chase, should I risk blowing myself up so early? I make a choice. I lean into the peloton's assumption that we're teammates after all. They, uh, they won't expect me to follow him. Instead of sprinting into a frenzy, I just stay calm. I let them think that I want him up the road. The peloton will close that gap for me. They don't need to know I have to beat him today in the club championships. Just play it cool. And we're picking up speed here and the race truly begins. Um, these guys are seriously strong. They've got what to burn. They're like hooked up to electric pylons. Look at him go. Um, I'm just going to let them pull, do the work. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to play my game quietly here. But quiet, this race is not. Half a lap in and my heart rate is already pounding at 190 beats per minute. Another attack surges on the left and welcome to the big boys. They, they just want to shake you off as soon as they possibly can. It's relentless, this pace. I try to hide, get in this guy's wheel, but I've still got to do four or 500 watts just to hold this guy's wheel here. This is hard work already. And we're flying at over 30 mile an hour. This is nothing like any race I've done before. There's no respite, no moment to breathe. It's all or nothing. And the attacks are still coming from like whilst we're going flat out at speed we're doing 30 mile an hour and there's people attacking on the right hand side right there it's not like we've slowed down and there's been a lull in their attacking it they are just going for it at full speed these guys must have diamonds in the legs there but maybe they've actually got weapons in the legs how long can i keep this up for and we're coming to the end of the first lap and it is strung out there is gaps appearing people are suffering people are losing the wheel and muhammad of course is on the better side of this little split here so 
if I don't close this gap now, I'm thinking, I don't want to be behind the split. I've got to get over 33 mile an hour to try and get over to the split, and I'm hammering it to Bridget. It's brutal, but I make it for now. And again, a Primera lad goes on the left-hand side, and I just think, nope. And I just pray that no one else decides to chase it. Let's let him go, and we can chill for a minute, please. But no, as if. That ain't happening here. And I'm noticing Mohammed is constantly on the right side of every split. And here I am, brain foggy, forgetting how to race my bike as I'm out in the wind right now. Being at 190 beats per minute does funny things to the brain, guys. It's almost like your unconscious mind takes over. And as a gap opens up in front of me, it wakes me up and I remember just to ease off and someone else close this gap. Otherwise, I'm just gonna get dropped in the second lap here. But thankfully, someone on my right, I see a shadow coming through to save my day. And he comes around and I hop back on the wheels again. And a couple of minutes later, someone else sends it off the front again. And I'm looking at it, noticing no one is on that rail. And I'm feeling a little bit recovered here. I'm thinking, oh, that's quite tempting. My mind starts to think. Mohammed pulls out for a quick snot rocket. So maybe he needs to recover a little bit as well. And is clearly not interested in the attack. Someone else is going. And then temptation is getting to me. This is my opportunity here. Clay is to my right. He's one of the most successful riders in the country. So maybe if I go, he will follow me because maybe he's hoping that um, Mohammed won't follow and he'd rather be with me at the end rather than Mohammed because he's a bigger rival. So I send it. That's it. I'm just gone. I hop on this guy's wheel and, I've, um, and, uh, and we're just off. The only problem now is everyone is now on the chase to get to my rear wheel if you look behind. But um, yeah, please just let us go. And he flicks his elbow. Do I even have the power to keep this tiniest of gaps? I hadn't even looked behind at this point. I was just committed to try and get in that break that I needed to try and get myself away from Mohammed so I could get the club championship. I look behind as I come around the corner now and I look ahead and I know I've not made that break ahead, that's for sure. And I know from the people behind me, I've not got away from them either. These lads are seriously strong. I can't just ride away like that easy. I'm now getting counted on my left hand side and they're just absolutely flying around past me at a completely different pace, even though I'm doing close to 30. And round comes Mohammed, full aero. I ain't getting no draft on that. And I can feel myself going backwards here. Is this where I get dropped? I'm doing 29 mile an hour and I'm going backwards. This is horrible. I'm struggling, I've gone too deep too early and 320 watts isn't even enough to hop onto anyone's wheel right now. And I need to close this gap, otherwise it's game over. People are popping off the back and I'm right by it. I'm right at the back now. I need to close this gap to get back on. And I really just don't want to be lap dropped in the first couple of laps. That would really suck, that would really motivate me. So I'm fighting with my bike here um, and I'm able to get back on just about, jeez. On the left hand side we are approaching the Cat 4 race. Can we just cruise past them please? Absolutely not, look at them go. It's just, a, it's just another opportunity to cause havoc. Obviously, everyone decides to drop their watt bombs on the way past them. Me, I just want to get on the back of these right now. That would be far nicer than this race that I'm in. But we get round them without trouble. And amazingly, I can see the front of the race again. We're back up to full gas up the straight, but hopefully the next lap can be a little bit kinder. And oh look, there's Mohammed. Maybe he's blown up. Maybe I'm on my way back to win the championships. Don't be silly. I let him back in. But that's a bad idea because he gives off absolutely no draft. He's as aero as it gets. He gives off about the same amount of draft as a mouse farting. After a steady lap so far, it lights up again half a lap in and Mohammed goes to join an attack that he's seen. At this point, I'm feeling beat up and I know if I attempt to join it and it fails, I will definitely be dropped. So I go with the peloton option of just sitting in and hope it gets pulled back. And it looks like they're doing a good little job at getting away here. And I can feel myself just cruising along gently. And I'm thinking, okay, at this point, I'm taking it easy. These guys are gonna go again at any second now. And just like that, this guy's gone without us. There goes another, here we go again. I know this is dangerous now. I need to be on the right side of this split. It's time to pick it up. I don't want to sit in and depend on others. I just want to fill in this gap ahead of me. So I come round because they're at full whack now. So I'm trying to push it on. And uh, this guy on the left, oh, I'm going to have to close this down myself. And I'm fighting tooth and nail out in the wind right here. I need to get on this guy's wheel. Um, but I seem to be making it back to this little group here. and. 
coming into the corner, they don't seem all that far again. I know Mohammed is in that little group ahead, but there's no way on this planet now that I'm going to be able to do the chasing to get back to them because it will end up in a bad way. The Ride Revolution guy goes to bridge over at any second now. I don't have the acceleration right now to just go and pick it up like he, guy, like he does. So I'm just going to have to wait and try and hop on a wheel at any moment that I can. So I've made it onto a wheel and we are chasing back Mohammed's little group ahead. But the guys on the front, they give up and I'm thinking, sorry, I just cannot pull through right now. My heart rate's at 192. And I'm thinking if Mohammed gets away from me at this moment in time, honestly, that's just fine right now. I'm accepting defeat. He is on another level and I'm hoping that he goes on to win this race at this point. My focus is now on the two other goals because them guys up ahead, they've just put a big gap into us. So number one, remember, let's just not get dropped and I have to ride around solo, which is seeming like quite a high possibility. And number two, somehow try to scrape a top 15. And where I'm seeing stars right now, I've got no idea how many people are ahead of me. And I'm doing a pull here and bam, this guy whacks it over the top of me. I'm back here, I can't let this happen again. I need to get back on. Luckily I do, but with a heart rate at 192 again, I might just pop off at any moment. And I can feel the gap going again as that guy in yellow sprints away. I wish they'd just slow down, but the guy behind me, he's off the back, there's another gunner gone. And uh, yeah, I'm holding on for dear life. And now there's a few more people behind me that have been popped off. This guy loses the wheel in front of me again. And oh, I'm resting the bike all over again to try and close this gap. Seriously, I just need to get back on that back wheel. As I know if I can get there, it'll be easy again with the draft. Right now, I'm just eating wind, trying my hardest to fight to stay in the front of this second group. And it turns out I survive another lap, albeit on the wrong side of a split with Mohammed up the road still. But if I can just stay here, hopefully he can go on to win, which we'll find out at the end of this video. And I'm just hoping that I'm somewhere in the top 15 as I roll around with this bunch. And just like that, another little lap down and their split seems pretty established. And a guy from the Ride Revolution has just gone up the road. I think his name is Brake. He's rolled off the front, but this guy in yellow chases it back. And I glue myself to his wheel as I don't want to eat wind and be the one to chase the guy in yellow back as well. You can see behind me there's a little gap I've formed. Um, so I'm just trying to stay to the front as much as I possibly can. Now here I roll through and somehow me and the guy in yellow have got a little gap on the little group behind us. God knows what they're playing at behind, but maybe they're more blown than us. I really hope so. So this second group is disintegrating. I was on the front, I've now been attacked and I'm just trying to get back onto these wheels. Seriously, we've had about one lap of coordinated pulls and we're back to this, trying to get it broken down even more. The thing is though, a few people from this group have been popped again. So maybe if I can stick with these, I'll still be in line for that top 15. But I won't lie, I'm feeling a little bit shy. I'm not prepared to keep working with them from fear that they're just gonna keep attacking me every time I'm on the front. And this time it's Blake who's on the front who gets attacked from the guy who's on his wheel. Rather than him just pull through, he just goes for it. Guy in yellow wanted nothing of it, but maybe this could be my chance to roll away from the group to stay in the top 15. I quickly try to hop over to him. I just want to stay as close to the front of this little group at all times. I go straight over the top so that we can get to the next guy up the road. It's a little bit like stepping stones. However, as we make it over, I realise that these two are on the exact same team, the Royal Air Force. And I'm thinking, damn, this will be a recipe for disaster for me if I pull with these two. So in my head, I've decided I'll just sit on them both. And if they want me to pull, they've got another thing coming. I'm not going to pull them through because I'll have to be waiting there like a sitting duck for them to attack me with the old one-two. Which is a shame as I thought we had a nice little gap at this point, but you can see them behind, they're catching up to us pretty quick. Half a lap later, they both try and pull hard again together and they gap us as the front sits up on them. They're clearly trying to get away. I ain't chasing it, as I know I won't pull with them anyway, even if I do get there. And it'll be another repeat of the last lap if no one is with me. So luckily, this guy here, Blake on the right, he comes through to tie it back up again. And just like that, another lap survived with this group. And another, and another, and another one. If you're proud that I've not been dropped yet, please click the like button to show me some support. Too good to be true, this smoothness. Someone rolls off the front again, and the wheel is lost. Just like that, just after a few steady good laps, it's the Air Force guy again. Anyone gonna bring that back? I'm feeling quite stubborn now, as that was so pointless. 
I ain't doing it. And he's now fully rolled off the front. Maybe if I'd have just jumped on it and gone with him, no one else would have chased me either. But in that moment, I was also beat by just my own stubbornness. And shortly after, no one is coming around me to pull and I'm getting a bit fed up of it, so I just soft pedal. They're obviously all thinking of the same thing, of smashing it over to him. And just like that, on the left-hand side, Blake goes. And I've just got to jump on that one now. There is nothing worse than getting attacked when you've been on the front in the wind and no one is pulling and no one's doing anything to help. As you now have to drag them back to Fennel in the wind again. But luckily, I make it back on though, which was made handy from the Air Force teammate as he just sucked Blake's wheel, then sat up on him not to chase his teammate back. So a bit of a wasted effort there for him and a match gone. So if them slowing down, I sense a match being wasted, I try and go again over the top of them. Now Blake's an elite rider, so maybe this could be a good opportunity to stick the knife into him a bit more as I'm not on that level. And I get a little gap and I need to have to make them work if they want to get back to me. The other Air Force guy has a big gap still on me. He's up the road still. But when I look around, I can feel them gaining on me quite quickly. So I just ease off because I know I've not got away here. And as we come around the corner, Blake goes again on me. And I'm thinking, oh man, what I just did clearly didn't work. He is a leap for a reason. Now I've poked the Mount Monster and I'm in a dogfight. I need to chase his wheel back. If I can get back on it after that attack, maybe it'll break his heart. Hunting his wheel though feels like hell right now. I can't get to it though, so I continue to bring myself on my way back there. This is a hard effort and I just did it half a lap ago. I finally make it back on and I'm doing about 322 watts in his wheel here. God knows how much effort he's putting out, but it's been rough. He elbows me through and I think, screw that, I am dead. I go through, but I'm fried, so I stick no effort in. And after me being on the front for a few minutes, doing absolutely nothing, taking it easy and getting recovered, eventually someone bites, comes back through, and sure enough, it's Blake again. I get straight back onto his wheel, and strangely, he took us all the way down the back straight. But as we come out of this corner at the bottom, the other Royal Air Force guy decides to send it, and we've got to pick it up to get back to him. It's enough to send all of us scattered all over the place. And in that moment, it was the final knife into Blake, and he's out the back. As I approach the guy in yellow, I really want to work with him to make sure someone of Blake's calendar, caliber doesn't get back to me. If he knows this, he will work hard with me. Maybe we're both in the top 15. Three laps to go now as well. Can we get back to this Air Force guy? The only problem is I'm starting to notice he's doing the shortest of pulls. Maybe he's still tired and trying to recover, but I'm secretly annoyed with his last couple of pulls. They've all been super short like this. And I want to get to the Air Force guy. I want to get a top 15. Need a bit more help. I'm dying as well. Come on, man. I couldn't help but let him know. Now we're on to two laps left. The Air Force guy is out of sight. And for this lap, we just take smooth turns with each other, which are a lot more even. But these even turns are just way too late. I needed his help earlier when that guy was in sight. Can Mohammed win this race? I really hope so. I want Mohammed to win, and I really just want that top 15 now. I'm hoping that I'm in it. Final lap now, and I'm starting to think, how am I going to do this guy in yellow over? Do I just leave it to a sprint and wait, or do I attack him? And if I do leave it to a sprint, will he attack me before um, at some point on this lap? Or do I want to be the one dishing out the punishment? And if I do attack first, when should I make the first attack? I'm thinking maybe if I go sooner rather than later, so then that way if it goes tits up, I can try and fix the problem. And I'm also wondering why you've not subscribed to the channel yet. If you want to keep up to date with all this cool content, then click subscribe and I'll keep you up to date. I've decided to use this bit here to bring it home. I kick up, but there isn't much power in my legs right now. In that moment, I get that cramped twinge to tell me that you're a silly, silly boy. I just get my head down and try and get aero, hoping that he's not on my wheel. Glance behind, and is he there? Of course he is. I only had to do 750 watts there. We have to have a bit of banter in that moment, otherwise it would have just been really awkward. And he has just sat on my wheel now. Fair enough, I don't blame him. I've just tried to attack him. I'm thinking maybe if I go again, it might be the one too many effort for him even though it's probably my last effort too. But I've already shown my cards now from being behind. Maybe he won't expect it now that I'm on the front again. I try and pedal lightly to see if he comes around. Nada. He ain't doing nothing where I could sit on his wheel. And you know what? I do not blame him. I kick up the pace again, 
I start to go out wide to see if he's there, have a quick look behind, and of course he's there. He's actually on my left hand side doing an attack himself. The creepy little. Mm. Fair play. He has shot off like a gazelle in this moment. I'm thinking if I can TT back to his wheel, maybe that might be possible. I'm not too sure. Is he about to get a 15th place? Is he in the top 15? Am I like something stupid like 16th or something like that? Is the top 15 riding away from me right now? And I'm starting to feel sorry for myself a little bit. Like a lion who hasn't had a kill in days, just failed attempts. And as I soft pedal as he rolled away, but then I have a flashback of Abaddon earlier in the year, where this gap appeared on me on the home stretch in exactly the same way. It was about the same distance, and I ended up creeping my way back and pipping a friend of mine from Cowley Condors called Dave at the line. It was quite funny as he was so annoyed in that moment. So with that, we come out of this final corner and he's got a nice gap. He's looking back to see if I'm chasing, but I don't want to give the game away. So as soon as I'm out of this corner, I'm going to try and get it going. Can I get a good pace to him just to time it perfectly across the line? I don't want to stand up for too long in case he looks back and realizes what I'm doing. So I get back seated and try to settle in here, head down, 400 watts, Hopefully he's chilling at 200. I'm gaining steadily, head down again, but he's just gone out there. He's just got there just before me. The thing is, have I got a top 15? And I'm wondering, has Mohammed won this race? Please, come on. Well done, mate. You're having a bit of fun at the end. Well done. Jesus Christ. Fourth. Well done. I don't know where I came. All I know is I've died. Did you win? I won. Come yeah. on, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. 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 Lovely yeah. That was, that's it was hard. That was so hard. What do you reckon? You never come last. My, my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Results. Where are we here? Did you use that towel to wipe the mud? Yeah. 5G. Yeah. Well done. Uh, well, that's yeah. so much harder. Fair play to you. <laughs> It's ridiculous. <laughs> First results. There's so many little groups going around, weren't there? We got yeah. lost. Twelve. Oh, well, that's all right. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Got some points. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Because in that B races, it's top fifteen get race, get points. Yes. Oh, okay, that's so good then. So, oh, that's, I'm well, happy with done. that. That's how many people were in the row? So there was. 78 and 19. There's 20 people in the race, so That's about halfway good. in. That's very yeah. good. That's then. all right. For your first cat, too. I'm happy with that. Well done. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I barely even get top 10 in cat free races. So. <laughs>